Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Uh, today I got a really interesting question on the uh, channel from a user who wanted to know how do you block someone from calling you using a Sonom XP7. And I uh, thought this was going to be an easy answer, so it turned out not to be. But here's the, here's the short explanation of how to block calls on a Sonom. So the first thing you do is you open up the phone menu, and then up in the top right hand corner you're going to see these three dots. So click on that and go to settings and then go to call settings and enable call screening and then tap on call screening. Sonom calls it a blacklist so tap on manage blacklist and then you can put phone numbers in here. If you want to take these phone numbers out eventually just push on them and hold and then you can delete them but if you put a number in here and you click the save button that is supposed to be the way that you block um, people from calling you. Now it's important to realize that even though they can no longer make your phone ring they can still leave you a voicemail and that's because the blacklist is is a phone issue whereas voicemail is a network issue. So if you're comfortable with the person being able to leave you a voicemail and you can just ignore the voicemail then this is the answer for you. Now it doesn't always work this easy and I'm going to show you um, what to do if you've gone through those steps and the call blocking does not work. So stand by and I gotta fire up another phone to show you this. Okay so here we have a second phone and I want to show you something on this one. So if you go to the settings menu and you scroll all the way to the bottom and you go to about and then scroll all the way to the bottom look for the build number. If the build number down here um, ends in 12 the way this one does it means that there is an update available. Now this isn't an Android update because as you can see this phone is running 5.1.1 which is the most current version but this is an update of the Sonom system not of the Android system. So if you're anything other than uh, 15 which is the current uh, last two digits of the build number then you need to do this in order to function. So go to the Play Store and in the search bar you're going to type in Sonom Updater. And then we're going to search for that and that's what it looks like. So now you're going to install this, accept the terms, and this is going to take a little while so I'm going to pause the video for just a sec. Oops, that didn't take as long as I thought. So we're going to update, open that, sorry, and then we're going to click download now and you'll see up here it says new version and it ends with 15. That is the most current version as of um, March 14th, 2018. So click on download now and if it comes up with this warning message it's because this will only work on Wi-Fi. So you need to shut that down, go into your settings and enable Wi-Fi and then come back to this. So now that we have the Wi-Fi enabled we're going to go back to the updater icon and we're going to click on download now. And this is going to take a while so I'm, this is 26 megs um, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes into the update and we're at 86%, so hang in there. Okay, so here we are at 99%. New version has been installed. Now it's going to reboot. And after it goes through the reboot it's going to come to this screen. If it doesn't go to this screen it's because you didn't choose it again like I just did. You have to hit it twice so tell it to update again and then it'll go to this screen. If you didn't do it and you just closed out at that last screen then uh, when you drag down from the top of the phone you're going to see a message that says update ready and you have to open that and then choose the install uh, section that I just did. So you have to get the little Android guy with the wiggling antennas in order to make this work. Now again this is going to take another 10-15 minutes so we're going to pause the video again. 
Okay, so once again, we're about 10 minutes into the update progress and we're almost done. So just hang in there for another minute or two. Okay, now it's rebooting for the final time. Now you're gonna get this screen. This one says it's optimizing the apps and it has 135 to go. And we're on number 15. So once again, we're gonna pause. Okay, now that we've gone through all the upgrades, we're gonna get this screen where it says finishing boot. So we'll just hang in there while it does this. And then we're back to the, uh, the main screen here. So let's just open this up. Let's go back into settings, go into about, all the way to the bottom. And we'll notice that now it says the build number is 15. So that is the most current build number. It's still running 5.1.1. So that's basically it in a nutshell. That's how to block numbers on a uh, Sonom XP7 and also go through the update process. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions about anything Sonom or Android related or even iPhone for that matter, just drop me a comment or send me a direct message and we'll do our best to make sure that uh, your issues get addressed. Thanks for watching.